feel like I didn't accomplish nothing in the sport of boxing yet. I think that is very early for me still. I think that I got a lot more to conquer and a lot of divisions to win titles in and solidify my name as a household name. When I was a casual, I thought as a casual, I spoke like a casual, and I looked at boxing like a casual. But when I became a hardcore, I put away all those casual things. This is Michael Rogers, and welcome to Bodywork Boxing. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Bodywork Boxing. And man, the boxing gods have delivered. We got a unification between Shakur Stevenson, who was the WBO 130-pound champion, and Oscar Valdez, who was the WBC 130-pound champion. And I got my fingers crossed. Because the boxing gods in D.C., they call it getting that neck. You know what I'm saying? The boxing gods got our neck because we thought we were about to get a Castano Charlo, male Charlo, too. Only to find out that, for whatever reason, we will give them the benefit of the doubt that Castano actually had to pull out. Not going to get into the rumor mill. This channel is not for salaciousness. We all about boxing. We all about that body work. You know what I'm saying? But I had did a video not too long ago about Shakur Stevenson and his next moves. And I didn't want him to fall into the trap that Jamal Trollo fell into as far as, you know, pursuing Canelo Alvarez. Even though he has every, every, every reason and every right to actually pursue Canelo Alvarez. So, salute to Jamal Trollo. The video is not about him. It's about one Shakur Stevenson. I say Tank got now. Shakur has the future. You know. And I got to say man. As far as legacy. As far as. You know. Because I'm, I'm doing the aged well. Instead of the Hunger Games. I call it the aged well games. Because a lot of people I'm seeing right now are actually doing things that they're maneuvering and they're doing this and this and that. Thinking that, okay, in the grand scheme of things, it's going to age well. Let's think about this, though. When it comes to Christopher Columbus discovering America, did that age very well? Are they still teaching our children that Christopher Columbus discovered America? But now our records saying that when he came, he saw copper-colored people. So if the police was able to pull over somebody that was copper-colored, <laughs> who you think they pulling over? Did that age well? But I digress. Back to one Mr. Shakur Stevenson, who I have nicknamed, my self-proclaimed nickname for him is The Definition. Hit and not get hit. Shakur is The Definition. Unlike Tank, Tank, Tank will eat a couple to get his off. Devin, he'll avoid a couple and still do his work. Shakur... Is the definition of hit and not get hit. And I love all them young brothers. You know what I'm saying? I go a little bit harder on Devin. You know, because I'm like, man, I wish I was in this camp. I wish I could have more influence on him because I don't think that he's moved right. Right? I think that 
tank. He's moved right, you know, even though people want to see him fight those legacy fights. But I think that the, the, the happy medium between Tank and Devin is Shakur Stevenson. You heard it here first. As far as money and legacy, Shakur Stevenson is finding a way to walk that fine line between legacy and money. We saw it when he went up against Jamel Heron, his homeboy. I didn't like the way he carried it as far as it being his homeboy, but I understand the man entirely when he went into the fight as far as saying, ain't no friends. Yeah, yeah, I know we cool. Ain't no friends. I get that. You know what I'm saying? I think it went a little bit beyond where it should have been, but he, business-wise, he got out from out from under Andre Ward. Andre Ward has that good guy, wholesome approach. Shakur seems like he's kind of inviting that bad guy. I'm going to say whatever I want. That new age, that new flavor, that the contemporaries. You know what I'm saying? That Generation X or whatever they call them. You know what I'm saying? He's embracing that. And I think that how he was able to get his contract to where he got paid more than Herring. He's taking care of the money side. He has Jay Prince beside him that's actually grooming him. He got off from under that good guy image, and I guess from my from what I interpret, he got off from under the image or you know the tutelage of what Andre Ward would have wanted him to see. He's stepping out into his own. He then went two divisions, so now he's a two division champ. He had his sight set on Oscar Valdez at 126. Oscar Valdez, for whatever reason, decided he didn't want that. They both at 130 now. And I know I gave one Mr. Oscar Valdez a lot of heat. I know I called him in my last video. I called him the tea master. But I was actually actually uh, claiming that Shakur should put all his eggs in one basket when it came to Oscar Valdez because I didn't think Oscar Valdez was actually going to answer the call. Lo and behold, Oscar Val Valdez picked up the phone and was like, what's happening, Shawty? I'm here. I'm at 1.30. What's going on? And I'm not going to hold the tea thing. You know, much like I much like I hate people getting on my man Errol Spence for being, you know, for getting his DUI and they always label him as a drunk and every time his name brought up, that's all they want to bring up. Oscar Valdez had an in one instance where he actually came up hot for the tea. Okay, it was one instance. I'm not gonna hold it against you. I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and and, and keep you know what I'm saying, shoving this whole tea master thing down your throat. So I'll give you a reprieve. In football, they call it a mulligan. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give Oscar Valdez a mulligan. But what we have here between Stevenson and Valdez, we have bad blood. We have history. We have that black and that Latino. That black and that Mexican. The makings of a great fight. It checks off the green print it's in house the only thing that's going to stand in the way of this fight is one of them guys pulling out and they both got children how about that body work you know what i'm saying so i think we have a good fight i went back i looked at some film i went back i thought that Robinson Conceicao, I still stand firm in my belief that he got robbed in a fight with Oscar Valdez. Okay, no harm, no foul. It was left up to the judges. The judges rendered their decision, and that's what we're left with, right? However, I went back to the valdez Burchell fight, and what I saw was a guy in Valdez who studies his opponents. Yes, he does homework. He fought off the back foot almost the whole night against Burchell, right? He almost telegraphed a lot of his punches, but he has power, respectable power, knockout power. If he catch you right, 
if Oscar Valdez can catch you right, he has respectable power. I'm not going to take it away from it. I'm not going to infer that that may have been from some T. I'm, I'll give you, like I said, I'll give you a mulligan. I'll say that, you know what? Since the verdict didn't show that you were juicing or using whatever you used against Burchell, you put on an excellent performance, sir. It went a lot later than what I thought, but Oscar Valdez, he can box off the back foot. He has a... Man, he has an arsenal. He does have a punch variety variety that's out of this world. Okay? What I see in this fight, Shakur, a.k.a. in my book, the definition, the master at hitting and not getting hit. I believe that he can control the distance. Unlike Burchell, he's not going to overextend. His torso... It's not going to be extended beyond his foundation, which is his legs. He can hit you, and by the time he hits you, Stevenson has the ability to take that half step back. He's a master. Aside from Earl Spence, those two guys are the master of distance in my book. Whereas um, Earl Spence, he's a master at being able to hit you. And not get hit, even though he will take some, he's gonna deliver a a more massive blow than you, so you gotta be willing to exchange. Whereas Stevenson is a notch above in that by the time he hits you, he be the decided I'm gonna hit him and I'm all, and I already know my extra strategy. That's why he draws all the Mayweather comparisons, because by the time he hits you and you go to hit him, he's not there. So in all essence, he could be called the ghost. But we call him the definition in my book here at Body Work. I think it's a good fight. We have history. We have drama. We even have them going back and forth on YouTube. And, you know, Shakur telling uh, Oscar, saying, hey, man, make sure that your coffee good. Cause we don't want that tea incident. Oscar Valdez taking to social media saying that Shakur is a social media guy. Or a social media darling. And saying hey. I'm going to let my fist do the talking. We got smoke. It's the WBO versus the WBC champ. In a unification. And the boxing guys deliver. I just hope. I just hope and pray. That Oscar Valdez. Does not pull out. If we can get the same Oscar Valdez. That for Bert Chell. Not the one that fought Robinson Casasio. Not the one that's post rumored as far as taking the tea or whatever elements to help him cut weight or whatever his camp saw fit. Not that same Oscar Valdez. We get the same one with Burchett, the one who was actually going from Orthodox to Southpaw, who had a man, he got a man, he got a right hook, he got a left hook. He got angles. He got angles. He can fight off the back foot. We know how we saw what happened when um, Shakur actually fought Nakatilla. And Nakatilla, he was just waiting to land that bomb. But we saw how reserved Shakur was when he knows that he's coming into somebody that has any kind of power. Even though he was able to knock Nakatilla down. But he's the master at hitting and not getting hit. Man, the Boston guys delivered on this one. I'm excited for this one. April 30th will be the time. Listen, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, we feed the clones here. We know that all subscribers matter. And I'm looking for a good fight. Body work. All right. I believe you. But my tummy can talk. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Word and I do what I do, and he knows what I'm about to tell him right now. It's Mr. Keep running your mouth. That's what I do. I just feel like I'm the champ, and at the end of the day, I'm just, a, I'm just a fighting my focus. It doesn't matter. Inside and outside, I can just fight. So I just feel like if you, if you get down to the wire, and we gotta lock it up, I'm out on top. Hey man, I'm, 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 I'm
sense of plan. Eu queria ir pra lançar também, quando faz, eu pego a série de fogo. Eu não sei o que é a declaração.